Hey, welcome to the Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I've got some incredible LPS coral and some really special fish to show you. All right, so if you're a regular to this channel, you'll know that I quite often frequent Deer Park Aquarium. It's my local fish shop. I've even been lending a hand there on Saturdays of late. And I quite like to do little videos showcasing some of the stock that Dave has in there. Now, I wanted to do a video yesterday, but um, Dave said that I've been doing too many Deer Park videos and he didn't want to dilute it. Now, in all fairness to the guy, he's being humble. And um, I see the comments and views that the uh, stock videos get from uh, whenever I do a, a tour of Deer Park Aquarium. And uh, yesterday, he had just way too cool of some pieces and some fish not to take a quick video while he wasn't looking. So um, while Dave was doing some uh, stock take and getting some things ready to open the day, and when I was meant to be cleaning the tanks, I sneakily got my camera out and took a little bit of footage. And um, then when he came over later that night and was working on the uh, sea of plumbing on my new dream reef tank, I quickly popped this video together and um, we've uploaded it. So here it is for you to check out. So. Uh, Bear with me, I'm gonna to have to do a voice over commentary because I didn't want to do the voice live in store because uh, David obviously realized I was doing the video then, but um, again, there's just some crazy, crazy pieces, including some of the two, sorry, including two of the nicest hammers I've ever seen. So um, stay tuned for that. Let's roll the footage. <clears throat> All right, we can start things off with the fish and uh, I apologize, the tanks are dirty. As I said, I am meant to be cleaning these tanks instead of taking this video, so. Uh, I'll make the uh, video quick so we can get on to cleaning the tanks. Now, we've got a couple of beautiful clowns in the tank there. These are some uh, F4 Picassos, I believe, a, a particular grading of Picasso clowns, and um, they're a really nice little mated pair there. You see the little goatfish in there. He's doing my job for me, cleaning up the tank. Uh, we've got a big sailfin in there, some beautiful uh, yellows, and a, uh, a big tank up there looking a little bit sad, but um, he'll settle in soon enough. Down into this tank, and we've got some of my absolute favorite schooling fish. These are what we call glass cardinals. Um, you can see there's a couple of little rogue non-glass cardinals in there, but uh, these glass cardinals, there's just something about them, the shimmer they give, the way they school. They're just a beautiful, beautiful fish, totally underrated in my opinion, and I'm really looking forward to getting a good uh, 30 or more of those in my new tank. Moving across here, we've got a nice little uh, dwarf lionfish doing some sort of weird little dance there. Um, you have to remember this is first thing in the morning we have just turned the lights on. You can see the uh, eel hiding out in a bit of PVC as they uh, like to do there. We also have a little saltwater acclimated molly in the background there, which is uh, intended to feed this guy here, this um, yellow leaf scorpion. But uh, apparently um, he's not keen on mollies, which is annoying. Anyway, we'll move up into uh, this tank here. We've got a, a nice bicolor angel. We've got a, a big eye squirrel fish. Nice gold spot uh, rabbit. Check out the glass here. I really need to get this video finished so I can clean the glass. Um, we've got some, uh, I think they're yellow barred dart fish. I'd have to check that, but uh, pretty cool fish. Now this guy here is the star of the show today and um, what an absolute chonker of a uh, banded angel fish. This is the biggest banded angelfish I've ever seen. It is in the tank with um, the uh, flame wrasse uh, trio. The other two have been moved just as they're um, bickering a little bit, but uh, check out the size of this um, absolute stunning of a uh, banded angelfish. I'm just trying to stop a bit of the reflection on the glass here so you can get a really good look at him. Now, he has only been in the tank for about uh, nine hours at this stage, and you can see he's got all his color. He's nice and vibrant there. Absolutely beautiful fish. And uh, we'll scroll down here to, uh, this is a um, sailfin tang, which was from a uh, tank rescue, along with these absolutely ravenous Australian stripies. This tank here, there's one of the other flame rests, was absolutely, the rock in there was absolutely taken over by uh, aptasias, and uh, those Australian stripies have smashed it. Now, do need to bear in mind that um, they will also eat coral, but um, they will eat aptasias as well. Now, Bear with me while I quickly scroll over here. We've got uh, a beautiful uh, fox face in there and these incredible Tahitian white tail tangs. Now these are uh, much the same as a coal tang, but they've just got that beautiful contrasting white tail. Um, we've got a few of those in stock at the moment, which is, um, which is cool because they're a pretty rare fish. And uh, check out this little uh, juvenile chorus wrasse in there, just mixing with the uh, Motialaris clowns, pretending he's one of them. He won't keep those colors forever, but um, these beautiful white tail coals will. Just stunning, stunning fish. We normally only see them about once a year, and um, Dave's been fortunate enough to pick a few up. Now, 
In this tank here, we've got some um, Atlantic Blue Tangs um, pair in there. Actually, well, they're not technically a pair, but there's two of them, I should say. Got to be careful when I say pair. We've got some beautiful uh, black cap basslets there. Um, sorry, black cap gammas, grammas. You know what I mean. They're a beautiful fish. There's two in that tank there. We've got a nice um, uh, Pacific sailfin tank there. Got the nice uh, yellowing. There's another one of those uh, white tail coals. See a uh, powder blue. We've got a standard coal on there just to show the difference between um, the white tail Tahitian version and the um, standard one. Beautiful little uh, royal grammar down here. They always got such striking colors, those fish. See a little blue tang in the background there um, doing what they do. We've got some uh, anthias here. We've got a uh, Helfrinchi goby. Really nice, this tank looks nice and clean. Looks like one I will not have to clean. And uh, this guy here, I'm not sure what kind of angel he is. Not a bicolor. Check out this little angel here. He is a uh, juvenile a rock beauty, this little guy. And what a stunner. The um, coloring on him, that splash of black, the vibrant yellow with that uh, trademark angel blue ring around the eyes is just absolutely stunning. Come down here, we've got another one of the uh, white-tailed Tahitian uh, coal tangs. We've also got this uh, keyhole angel, which um, Dave reckons he doesn't like it. He says that it's an ugly fish. I think it's absolutely beautiful. That splash of yellow on the tail is something else. Now, what's uh, what do we got here? We've got, uh, we've got a tang. I'm not sure what kind of tang he is, to be honest, but um, I'm going to keep on moving. We've got a gigantic grassy. He's a decent-sized unit. Um, he would uh, be a fair bully in the tank. We've got a couple more Anthias hiding for their lives up there from that tank. Don't blame them. Nice little uh, flash of in there. Now that guy, I want to see him uh, really flash and prominently show his colors. Next up, we've got another very popular school in fish, the lie tail Anthias. Almost like the goldfish of the, um, the marine aquarium trade, but uh, they are beautiful, particularly when you get a male in there with them. Now, I might uh, quickly scroll across. We're going to jump Dave's there. We'll just... Uh, do the old whoop de woo past him and uh, we might check out some of these corals because there's a couple of ripping pieces in here. So we're going to start off with these beautiful Australian elegants and there's a number of different varieties in here. We've got um, your large but fairly standard colouring in that back corner. Then you can see this uh, one front and centre at 200 has got some real uh, blue colouring with yellow tips. And then uh, this next one here at the front and centre with the bright gold tips, very dark centre with the nice teal blue um, body, it gives a real nice contrast. Dave, as always, has some cracking deshies in stock there, including a couple of rippers. We've got some uh, yellow tangs, just um, having a bit of a crack at each other. I think they've been moved in there to take out of the uh, fish system. Now these hammers here are $120 Australian each for our American friends, and Dave's calling them what, uh, he's uh, uniquely calling them the, the reject hammers, and that's because you're gonna see in a second some of the ones that are not rejects now. Bear with me while I try and get the um, top down to focus on these um, on these elegants from the top because I want to show you the color. Check out that. The um, dark center with the teal blue and then uh, you can see the, the extra dark one next to it. Just a variety of elegants we don't see all that often. Um, really nice show pieces now. We're going to scroll across to the hammers that are not the rejects. Check out that gold hammer. Um, I got a picture of it to get a better idea of the coloring. Those torches next to it there are um, gold torches and 24 karat gold torches. That hammer absolutely puts them to shame. It's a thousand dollar piece, but uh, when we scroll across, we see a green, a toxic green, and then uh, it's close to what I would call a yellow hammer. And um, I can't believe this thing's been here for two weeks now and it's um, $500. I thought that would have been snapped up in a second because that is a absolutely crazy colored hammer. Anyway. You get that. Um, we've got some really, really nice scullies here from uh, normal scullies to uh, Crocodile Island scullies. Up on this uh, shelf here, there's some nice morphs, in including a uh, very nice Acan, which I've got a picture of here. I didn't notice when I was taking the video, but when I took some pictures later on, I saw that Acan and um, my jaw hit the floor. But um, there's the uh, showpiece hammer. That's, um, that's the nicest orange hammer I think I've seen. And uh, this is it's gotta be it's got to be close to the yellowest hammer I, I've seen. I know um, uh, people will debate whether that's uh, green or yellow and that's fine. Um, I'm not going to partake in that debate because I am colorblind, but to me, in my eyes, it's the yellowest I've seen. Now, over on this side, we've got a um, whole sea of scullies there, ranging from some fairly basic ones up to some pretty crazy um, exotic 
export quality uh, scholars. It's got some nice blasters, a beautiful big uh, bubble coral, a smaller bubble coral, a couple of scenarios there, including this one at the front. And the camera hasn't really picked up the colors on it all that well, but it's, um, it's more of an orange um, than the red. So I'm keen to see how it develops in color. Hopefully it's not just pale red. It's actually gonna have a little bit more orange to it. Come across here into some more of what David delicately calls the reject hammers. Now, there's nothing reject about these at all. Um, they are just beautiful hammers. You've got some nice frog spawns, some torches. Um, some of those toxic scented tor torches are very, very nice too. Um, we've got some more blasters, some lobos, some uh, war corals, some favias. There's a nice uh, wilsoni up there as well. Um, all sorts of pieces. Now, check out this $60 Australian for... Um, these, these are not um, frags whatsoever. These are large, large colonies of um, beautiful Australian wild collected SBS colonies. And um, they've basically overordered on the um, SBS, so he's got to move some out. As you can see, his coral tanks are quite full at the moment. So um, he's trying to move some of these corals on quickly and uh, $60 Australian a piece is an absolute steal. Head on down to this bottom row here and we've got some off the charts trachophilia. Um, the number of the ones at this end here that are rainbow or um, check out that red and green banded one. That's an absolute stunner. Come across here, we've got uh, some softies in the back there. Got some um, lobos. You've got some uh, different hammers here. From This is the $80 a piece tank. Um, some very good buys there. You've got some nice basic-ish scullies. Head up the top there, we've got a, um, got a couple of chalice pieces. Some more blasto. Nice, nice pieces. Now, we're gonna keep going around. We're gonna sort of get into the cheaper pieces, although there are a couple of off the charts um, gold chalice here, and um, the camera's not doing a bad job of picking up the colors there. They are very, very yellow. Nice to see um, some chalice that is genuine gold chalice. Uh, we've got some more hammers here. He's busting at the seams. Dave's bagging up some fish. <laughs> we'll just sort of turn my back to him there. Got some nice fungies there with some more trackies. A nice little, um, this, is a, this is a fairly affordable tank. This is $60 a piece. Um, we've got some uh, gonies, some, um, uh, what's the goni alternative? The aluvapora. Um, we've got some uh, tongue corals there, some lobos, some more SBS. Just gonna try and uh, move the camera around so you can see them. So some more SBS that have um, spilled over from the $60 tank because it's chock-a-block. Um, hopefully, shortly after opening the doors, I'll be able to move those across. And then we come into the $35 tank. Um, so yeah, we're sort of sliding down the scale of um, prices and there's some uh, sort of a trading corals. Up in this top corner here, there's this um, elephant ear uh, morph, which is it doesn't have the most intense coloration, but it's just a really cool piece. Got some uh, basic gonas in there, some... Uh, a nice hammer, that shouldn't be in there, $35, holy moly. Got some really nice uh, softies, we've got some sun corals. Um, Dave's still bagging <laughs> those fish up, so I'm just gonna come across here. Uh, what do we got? Um, I think we got some leptos in there. Uh, a couple more hammers, some acans, some chalice. A nice little uh, strange piece of soft coral there. Uh, looks like we've got uh, some lobos, war corals. Over here, we've got more acans. Now, yeah, there's some nice acans in here. This is $60 a piece tank. Good variety of acans. We've got some hammers. Uh, we've got some, uh, looks like Helios. Um, another elegance, slightly more basic than the other ones we saw. Yet more SBS. This piece here has got um, a nice sort of uh, tri-coloration through it there. We've got some nice uh, solid green pieces in the back there. A couple of nice uh, purpley colored SBSs. Got some uh, bubble tips in here. And then over in this tank, we've got, this, uh, we've got a few pieces of some soft coral, including a nice little rock flower there. But uh, check out this uh, Rhodactus on this soft coral rock. That thing's got a swarm of colors riding through it. Um, absolute cracker. I'm kind of hoping someone comes in after some soft coral but does not want that um, Rhodactus and they want to cut it off because... Um, I really feel like I could give that uh, Rhodactus a home. <laughs> we'll see, but uh, I'll give the customers the opportunity first, and if it's still there in a week or two, I might uh, snap him up for the Idiot Proof Reef tank. Over into our last tank here, this is um, this is the $15 a piece, and then uh, up here is our, uh, on the top shelf here is our $5 SBS brownout, so if you're uh, interested in testing out um, SBS, it's a good opportunity to pick up something cheap and um, see if you can color it up. Good opportunity just before I scroll over and uh, show you the uh, the 
stars of the uh, show again one more time just to remember to give this uh, video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to put a comment in the section that let Dave know you want to see more videos of his store because um, I'd much prefer not to have to do these incognito <laughs> I'd like to be able to get Dave involved and uh, take some time and uh, get these videos in but um, like I said I couldn't help but uh, get some footage of these incredible hammers and uh, that absolutely stunning angelfish because um, these are just some of the nicest pieces I've seen in a long, long time, definitely this year. So um, I hope you have enjoyed the video and um, please let me know if you have. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to put a comment down below and like the video. I want to be able to show Dave that you guys out there really do like these tours of Deer Park Aquarium so I can keep doing them in future. So be sure to let Dave know down below that um, we want to keep seeing more of his store. Anyway, guys, that's probably all i got time for. If you have any questions at all about any of the pieces of um, coral or fish or anything, feel free to put the comments in the um, section down below. Of course, if you are a uh, Victorian resident and you're looking for any of those pieces, get in touch with Dave at Deer Park Aquarium via his Facebook page. That's about all, though, guys. I'll um, leave you to it. Thank you so much for watching, and until um, next time, stay safe, keep roofing. Bye.